great to see you here. This is a new course by the Custer Academy, and this course is about discrete mathematics. And in this short introduction, I will tell you about what the purpose of this course is, who it is for, and what are the prerequisites in order to follow this course. First of all, let's have a look what this course is about. The course of discrete mathematics is to teach students how to think logically and mathematically. Discrete mathematics will prepare you for further studies in computer programming, data structures and algorithm. Basically, the courses related to discrete mathematics are very important for people working in an IT environment. When you want to create algorithms, when you want to make programs, you, understand, you have to understand the basics of logic, the basics of mathematical proof, and how to evaluate algorithms, encryption, and many other things. We will look into that later when I'm going through the details of the course. The people who are in fact really interested or could be interested in this course are people who want to make a career in IT. When you want to write programs, create algorithms or develop computer systems, you have to understand what the logic is about. Now, normally, when you create programs, you start by understanding the logic. Programs and computers are logical devices, and discrete mathematics will provide you with the knowledge how to deal with those systems, with those programs, with algorithms, and so on. Like I already said, encryption is a very important part. It's one of the parts that we will discuss in this course. Now, before starting this course, you may have to uh, follow or have followed other courses. It is important that you, for example, uh, finished courses like college algebra, mathematical courses, and also calculus. These things are, in fact, very important before you start working in this course. Now, discrete mathematics is not about continuous numbers. We are talking about discrete numbers. But we are applying principles that we've seen in college algebra and in calculus. We will talk about summations. We will create formulas using those principles. Of course, some of you may already have some experience. You may have already been doing some computer programming. Some of you may have been working in Excel, even if you're not planning to study IT or you didn't plan to study IT yet. Excel is a program which is uh, very interesting. Uh, you can use Visual Basic. You can already have acquired skills in this field. Excel is a good training tool to start working with some logical data structures. Of course, it may be that when you start with this course or during the course, you may find out that some of the topics we are discussing are, let's say, not so clear because you may be missing some background information. Of course, you can always go back to those courses to study what you need to know to continue the course. The course can be opened, started, uh, reviewed whenever you want. You have continuous access to the course. And of course, these videos will explain you the different topics. If you have questions, you can always send them to us. And of course, we're ready to help and give you advice on how to improve and optimize your knowledge and optimize the utilization of this course. This was it for this first video. We are starting with the course. The next video will be about me, who am I, who is your teacher, but let's go on, continue, let's go on, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, and bye-bye. <laughs>